Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from a table grape vineyard in Sanger, California. And here the UC Cooperative Extension held a grower tailgate meeting where David Haviland addressed growers on the importance of mealybug control and the tools we have access to. So as we get another six weeks or so down the road, those mealybugs are now adult females. Most of them are entrenched underneath the bark on the cordon. They're gonna make their egg masses and you're gonna get hundreds of babies. So vine, vine mealybug management, lots of different ways to management. You've got biological control that's important, got insecticides that are important. Um, particularly on the insecticide part of it, it's really important to know what product you're using it, when you apply it, and what to expect from it. Um, you know, Lors Band, for example, first product that you would use in a year. In that case, the goal is to you know, get the trunks good and drenched, make sure there's no mealybugs up on the vine to start the season, and you're trying to control some ants. Uh, later in the season, uh, particularly when crawlers emerge, you're using a plot. Uh, that's a, that particular product is very, very effective on crawler stages, but not really the larger stages of mealybugs. So you want to make sure you apply it when crawlers are emerging, but also as you're monitoring how well the product works, um, you, know, you need to realize if you've got crawlers, it's going to be great. If you've got adult females, they're probably going to survive. You're going to have to follow up and, and uh, you know, make sure that their offspring uh, don't survive once they start feeding. Um, likewise with Movento, a very unique product. Play, sprayed on the leaves, gets moved into the plant. Uh, the insects actually ingest it and it gets to the point where they can't produce any fat bonds. So when they can't store energy, they start getting depleted of energy and eventually they die. Because of how it works, um, you know, it can take a, you know, a week, uh, maybe a week and a half to kill uh, the crawler stages. But adult females or large ones, you know, maybe a month, uh, sometimes a month and a half before they actually run out of energy storage and actually, you know, actually pass away and get, you know, get old and die. So when you're applying that particular product, you're probably going to be disappointed if you go out in the next couple days and expect to see control. But once you're three weeks after application, look and see how things are. Compare that to four weeks, compare that to five weeks, and you'll see that things will progressively get better out there in the field uh, as you monitor. Uh, late in the season, you know, at the time of this interview, we're in the uh, we're in the middle to late June, so we're getting sort of at the end of the the standard, you know, Lors Band applaud, Movento, um, you know, uh, admire types of timings. From this point on, really the goal is if your other programs didn't work, it's a matter of trying to keep mealybugs out of the cluster. Uh, there's products uh, like a sale, uh, belay, applaud. Uh, Lores Band used to be able to use in, uh, in table grapes, can't do that anymore, but uh, some cases can still be used. The goal in that case is just to use those kinds of products as needed in an emergency situation to make sure those clusters are clean at harvest. Uh, hopefully you don't end up in a situation where that becomes necessary. But monitor your fields, keep tabs on what's going on. Uh, it's better to get control early so you're not trying to spray a big canopy with closed bunches and you know, close to harvest. But um, keep tabs on what's going out there and good luck with your management. Read American Vineyard Magazine to learn more about maintaining control of the vine mealybug and all the tools we have to protect our vineyards from it. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.